New at 10, as we approach the first anniversary of the wind tornado, the wind school district took a moment to reflect on that fateful day. The high school took a direct hit, displacing hundreds of students and forcing them into a temporary campus. Officials spoke about the challenges faced and progress made in the last year. I was there today and spoke to a student about what life is like on the temporary campus and her hopes for the school going forward. No, I did not think I was going to be here today. Um, seeing the progress and stuff, I was very worried. Reflection and progress were the topic of Monday's conference at the Wind School District. As the first anniversary of the wind tornado approaches, the school took a moment to speak about what it has been like in the past year. Superintendent Dr. Kenneth Moore spoke of the decision to let school out early that day, one that wind sophomore Emma Kelly was grateful for. Can you imagine if we were there? We would just be terrified and not and not even having a mattress or anything to put over your head. Just the entire school was destroyed. The school built a temporary campus while it waits to build its new school. Kelly said the experience has been unique. We've sat in class before, had to move classes and been like, okay, mid class, okay, let's get up, move. Because um, it got too hot or it got way too cold. Kevin wear a raincoat inside just in case the rain came through. Dr. Moore said FEMA and insurance will cover the cost of the new school. And even though Kelly will graduate before the new school is built, she said she has friends who will be among the first to graduate there. So excited they, they get to have that high school experience. To be able to upgrade even more um, and just to see what all they can do with that building because obviously a building does make a difference. Rather than remember the tornado itself on March 31st, Dr. Moore said he wanted to celebrate the community, first responders, and everyone who helped on that fateful day. Kelly said she also hopes to celebrate the progress its students have made. I want people to see um, how hard we've worked and how hard um, we try to get through the day. During the conference, the superintendent said he hopes the new school will be built by 2027.